Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Next up, the King of Chinatown. You need to get off the streets. The agency knows my secure locations, and they will be searching for us. This is the safest place I know. Can I come with you? What? You need no. to No. Till I know what's going on. <laughs> You're gonna cramp our style, little girl. Ugh. Oh. It was you who called me. Yes. Who'd you think it was? Oh. You must be Victoria. Come on in, child. No escort Thank missions for, for Agent 47. This girl is important. Take this. What? We will take good care of her, my son. Ah, must be pretty good friends. Diana said you need that necklace. Don't lose it. <laughs> yeah. That's going to come up later. <laughs> and it's really stupid. I'll be watching. <laughs> Oh, they both have creepy eyes, huh? She's got creepy green eyes, and he's got creepy blue eyes. I wonder if that means something, huh? No. Nope. Time to go for a walk. That kind of looks like a nice neighborhood, right? Oh, is that guy over there sick or something? Yeah, not... Oh. Huh. Maybe this isn't such a nice neighborhood after all. No parties? Oh, come on. Hello. Birdie. We need to meet. Your actions precede you, my man. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, I admire a man with the courage to shit where he eats. Oh, thanks. I'm guessing you're in need of some information, and I just might be willing to play ball. Alright. But first, I got a favor to ask. <sighs> See, this is local upstart calling himself the king of Chinatown. Not exactly the understated type. And I would really like him to hand in his resignation if you catch my drift. Oh, so I guess we gotta ask this guy very nicely and politely if he could just leave, right? No. Now this king, he resides at the pagoda in the center of town, where a unit of dirty cops guard his every move. He rarely leaves the crowd, except to meet up with his dealer in a pad overlooking the square. Uh, yeah, he's also got a swanky European ride parked in a nearby alley. And that's all I got, Holmes. So, call me back when you're done. Got it? Alright, jackass. So, uh... Welcome to Chinatown. We'll be seeing the stage more than once. I think we see it twice. Maybe three times? No, not three times. Two times. No, oh, this bike looks perfectly okay. Why'd they throw it away? I don't get that. Um, so anyway, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about the stage, or at least seen it in the promo material. If you followed the game uh, when it was, uh, you know, on its, on its way, on its way, um... You probably saw this level being demoed. Uh, they used it to trick people into thinking that it was a Hitman game rather than... Uh, I'll get this bottle here. There we go. Never know when you need a bottle. Um, they used this level to trick people into thinking it was a, a real Hitman game instead of something else. Because it's an open world stage. And you can kill your target in a number of different ways. Now... The thing about Chinatown... Is that it's a very small stage. Sure, there's a lot of cool stuff in it, but compared to the levels in Hitman, Blood Money, or other games, it's tiny. It's even smaller than the Chinatown in Boston, where I'm, where I live. I wonder if the Chinatown Chicago is big at all. Is it? I don't know. I know I went to New York once, and the Chinatown there was gigantic. You know? I, okay. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to look for. Uh, the king of Chinatown. Ugh, that looks gross. What the fuck? Oh god. 
he's staring through my soul. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. Um, oh, there he is. That was easy. Hey, I don't pay you to sit on your asses. Hey, nobody gets up here without my permission. Okay, so he's hogging the pagoda to himself. To oh, really, lady? The king of Chinatown. Seriously? Twelve of these assassinations oh, will come on. Challenges. To view the challenges, consult the notebook. I don't want to consult the notebook. Ah. Uh, whose let's play is this? Birdie. No, no, no. Everyone, everyone, shut up. No 47, no Diana, just Nick Meister. So anyway, here's a list of all the different challenges. I think we looked at a similar list when we finished the first stage. Um, I was bored one afternoon, um, and instead of doing something constructive, like look for a decent job that, uh, that I went to school for, I decided to check off all these, uh, different objectives here in this video game. <laughs> so they're all done. Um, there's a lot of ways to kill the King of Chinatown. I'm probably not going to show them all off because some of them are kind of boring, but... I'll try to do the one I find the most interesting first, and then do a little montage at the end of different ways to kill the King of Chinatown. So without further ado, let's get back to the game. There we go. Look at these two jokers. Hey, how's it going? Get your ass hey, how's it going? Uh, I have a sweet tooth and I'm all out of candy. Ugh. What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you looking at? Hey. Uh -huh. yeah, well, make it snap. So, this guy has talked to that guy up there in the window. I don't know if you can see him. See up there? There's a friendly neighborhood drug dealer. But it's going to be about two or three minutes before the king of Chinatown and our lovely entrepreneur uh, meet. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go do a little shopping. There's an item that uh, some of you guys might remember from earlier Hit Me On Games. I know I used it at least once. Oh, fuck you, copper. Um, alright. Oh, shit. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, seriously? Wow, SWAT team's on the way, huh? Alright, um, that didn't work out too good, did it? Let's, let's try that again. So we gotta wait for this lady to turn her back. And I think my time is a little better this time. There we go. So I just picked up the fugu fish. And for those not in the know, for those that don't really like Japanese food, uh, the fugu fish, um, I think it's poisonous, or at least part of it is poisonous. I'm sure plenty of you guys out there know. And we can use this fugu fish to poison all sorts of different things. Different things that the king of Chinatown might partake in. And uh, the king of Chinatown's a douchebag, so he's going to make uh, the drug dealer wait for him. And he's not here yet. Uh, whatever. Um, let's follow the king around, see what he does. Hey, beat it, buddy. Now, uh, if we were fast enough, we could have poisoned uh, this food here that he's munching on right now. It's kind of difficult because this guy behind the counter likes to watch. So you gotta wait for him to turn around, and you gotta do it before this guy shows up. Oyster sauce, brown rice, broccoli. Now, uh, he's gonna come here and look down this hole for some reason. I don't know why you would do that, and you can't push him. But there's this guy here, and you gotta figure out a way to turn him around. That's not easy either. Are you talking to me or something? Nice suit, by the way. Look at those shoes. <laughs> and, uh... Over here, for some reason, there's big heavy bags of something hanging from this really precarious looking crane. And what you can do is you can uh, take out your guns and shoot. 
Okay, so one thing to note is that these people aren't real people. You remember the Mardi Gras stage from Blood Money? If you've watched that Let's Play, well, they're not real NPCs. And oh, here he comes. And they won't snitch on you. They won't. They won't call the police. They'll just cower if you hold a gun out. But that's it. <coughs> so yeah, nothing to worry about there. And he's gonna come back to the pagoda, and he's gonna talk to this guy. Hey, King! Wow, loving the suit. It's quite a colorful character. Loving the suit. Seriously, dude. Tell him, hey, man, I gotta get me one of those. Hey, get out of the you, sir. Whoa, gotcha. So how much product we talking about? Mm, all of it. Shit, no problem. All right, just uh, let me make a few calls. Dude, come on. I'll get back to you in ten. Get out of my shot, you fuck. Yeah, I'll be back in five. What are you what are you looking at? No, oh okay, well ugh, god damn it. We gotta follow this guy and there's all sorts of things you can do, but I like to dress up as him and uh you know, make sure the king gets his candy myself. So he's gonna walk over here. And uh here we go. I don't know, is the Chinatown in your uh in your town, as decrepit as this one is. That's what I really like about uh, Chinatown, at least in Boston, is that it still looks old and lived in, you know? It's not, uh... Well, we don't really want to kill this guy, do we? No. no. I mean, he's just a drug dealer. He's not necessarily a, a killer or a rapist or a pedophile, right? So, there we go. I mean, he was carrying a gun, but you gotta protect yourself when you when you're slinging dope. Let's put him in here. This nice dumpster. There we go. Try not to get tetanus, friend. <laughs> and uh, a Swiss 3000. I'll take that. And apparently there were drugs down here, and we could have poisoned him right then and there, and let the drug dealer unknowingly uh, poison. There's a what? Huh? There's a camera there. You know, in Blood Money, that would have been a problem, but in Absolution, it's no problem at all. So let's, uh, you know, before we go back to the king, uh, to, to give him, to give him what he needs, um, I'm gonna go up to his apartment right here, right above the tattoo parlor. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hey. Where the fuck is this? Are you watching horse porn or something? You sick freaks. How you doing? Oh, hi. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I guess the drug dealer lives up here. And, my god, this place is shitty, huh? I wonder what's in these boxes. Okay. Keep out. Huh. <laughs> no trespassing. I wonder if he has a no girls allowed sign, too. And there's another camera, but like I said, no problem. This is Absolution. So, uh, yeah. Here's his lair, his den. And, uh, there's quite a few things in here. There's a sniper rifle for some damn reason. And, uh... And you can snipe from here. There's our target. I could kill him right now if I really wanted to. The problem with sniping in Absolution is that... When you kill a guy, and someone sees them getting shot, they automatically know it was you. Your cover automatically gets blown. Doesn't make any sense, and it really ruins the game for me. And, yeah. There we go. So, now these two lovely lines of China White cocaine are tainted with fugu fish. And, uh, now I think we're ready for the king. I think we're ready to give him his, uh, his going away present. His severance package, if you will. Let's walk down here. You know, I really like the way 47 walks, but I can't believe they didn't, uh, put in a going up and down stairs animation. Can you believe that? It's kind of strange. You know, I... Noticed how Lord Pickman's belly was curiously distended, and how the briny odor Get was out of my face. Briny odor? You sick fucking guy. Nice glasses, jackass. All right, let's get out of here. <clears throat> so where's the king? 
He's still walking around. Let's run over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we could poison his coffee, too. That's a fun way to kill him. There he is. Hey, buddy. Take me to the goods. All right, fine. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself some snow. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? No, 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 your other left. All right, and that was a pretty funny line, but for some reason he decided to stop it right in the middle. Thanks for ruining everything, you fucking jackass. All right, let's bring this guy up here. You taking me shopping? What? You want to hold hands too? Buy curtains? You trying to tell me something here? <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> Man. Uh, Cokeheads or something else, huh? Move out of my way, dude. Alright. Hey, hey, hey! Are we going sightseeing for a reason? Come on! I'm a busy man. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm gonna go out more shoe shopping or something, right? Alright. Here we are. Home sweet home. Doesn't 47 look slick? Doesn't he look like a douche? Where'd that guy go? There he comes. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's right over there. Taste some. Try it. Try before you buy. <laughs> oh, what? You live in this shithole? Yeah. Christ. Oh, man. Alright, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Breathe it right in there. Yeah. Nice. Nice! How is it? Do you like it? <laughs> Die, you fucking prick. Die! Like this Die! Yeah. Silent assassin. Nice. Alright. Well, I guess my work here is done, huh? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's go right through here. You know, I could get more points by hiding his body, but I don't really give a shit about points. So I'm just gonna leave it be. Still talking about that briny odor. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it, really. Um, afterwards, I'm going to record uh, a few interesting kills that you guys can watch. And I might just cut out this section of me walking because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of boring, right? Don't get a heart attack. Alright. Lucky Duck Dumplings. Delicious. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, stop. No sleeping on the job, you fucking guy. Oh, well, I guess he's not sleeping, huh? Yeah, you know who I am. Don't bring your meat ass to my home. Ugh, this is your home, dude? Gross. I need information. Yeah. Well, that's my business. Information. You need information, I find information. At a price, of course. You're damn right at a price. Oh, he's got of shit course. on his jacket. A girl named fuck? Victoria. The agency wants her bad. I need to know why. No, wait, 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 wait. D the agency. You want me to snoop around the agency? Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah, you crazy. This dude's right, got shit on his jacket. Team? Name your price. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> what's he gonna ask for? Tools. What? Oh no! He asked for forty sevens tools. Damn. Alright. Alright. 
I guess you got me over a barrel here, huh? Oh, he's having a hard time letting us go, huh? city. <laughs> If anyone mentions a girl, you know what to do. I'll call you. Yeah, you better, motherfucker. I'll kill you. Oh, you do that. Hmm. Who's gonna do those things anyway? You're not an assassin. Okay, so that was the king of Chinatown. Let's let's take a look at our stats. You know, I didn't really do that last time. Silent assassin bonus for one target kill, no one else killed. We did get a pacification, but I had the body, so it, my, it got erased from my score. Um, you know, <laughs> that that whole system kind of reminds me of when I was in high school. You know, we we can make up for a bad grade by doing extra credit. You know. <laughs> Um, and a signature kill, which is normally an accident or something like that. Sometimes you can get a signature kill by using the fiber wire, I think. Not really sure. Well, anyway, that that's it for, uh, wait, oh, okay, so there's still this screen. Like I said, I already got everything in this game. This weapon only pops up if you get the, the SWAT team to show up like I did earlier when I fucked up stealing the fish. Yeah, why why would you hold a guy at gunpoint for stealing some fish? I don't get that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things to do here. I think I'll explore it more when I do the contracts video. And uh, coming up next will be uh, the little the little uh, info on Birdie and some alternate kills. So stay tuned. Yeah, he's cooking the shit out of that. You fish, cooked that walk. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. All right, so here's the first uh, the first alternate kill I like is you gotta dump this uh, this heavy stuff right in this guy's head. I'm not sure why that stuff's hanging up there. I mean, that can't really be legal, right? So this is a good angle. Um, as long as you're careful, these policemen over here won't see you, and we just have to wait for him to take that that piss of his and wait for him to turn around. There we go. Nice. And all those soulless puppets behind me won't rat us out, because they're not real people. Alright, so if we could have caught him a little sooner, pick up the fugu fish, we can head over here, and this guy behind the counter is turned around, and we just put that stuff in there, and, uh, mm, doesn't that look yummy? Alright, so the only thing we have to do now is wait for, uh, the king of Chinatown to come over and take a taste get a taste of uh, How you doing? of our food. Alright, there he is. Oyster sauce, brown rice, broccoli. And you know, I think 47 has a flair for cooking. I mean, uh, that other guy, the chef, he seemed to enjoy our food, right? You know, uh, he definitely noticed the difference right away. There you go. Yeah, get a nice piece of that. That hey, dumpling there, that pork bun. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like you liked it very much. <laughs> wow. I killed him even faster than the cocaine did, huh? So, next thing we need to do is we need to get an outfit, a police outfit, to get into a couple of areas. And we got to wait for his two friends to walk away. And we got to make sure they walk far enough away that they don't hear me choking him out. Okay, I think that's far enough. All right. Now, they're not going to walk back here unless we walk over there or unless the king of Chinatown comes over here to take a piss. Otherwise, they'll stay over there, so you don't really have to worry about them coming back around the corner and seeing you choke out their friend and drag them over here. Alright, let's take his outfit. And now we are part of Chicago PD's finest. I'm just going to drop him in there. And uh, we're gonna head up to the uh, the drug dealer's apartment. And I'm gonna use a particular strategy that uh, is honestly a little bit uh, now tricky, I guess. I haven't really figured out how to do it without getting spotted. Yeah, you know, I mentioned a little earlier that. Uh, if someone sees someone being shot, it doesn't matter whether or not they can see you, you still get your cover blown, which kind of makes sniping really hard. If anyone knows a way around that, let me know. 
So, uh, here I am looking for him. Stupidly, there we go. And there he is. So, uh... There is an achievement for killing him and the drug dealer, but fuck that. There we go. And because someone saw the king of town saw the king of time Chinatown being shot, they automatically know who I am and where I am. It doesn't make any sense, but there you go. And last but not least, uh, we get the king of Chinatown to come over here by banging on his swanky European ride, and then we blow him up. So he'll be. On his way very shortly. I'm just gonna get ready here. Uh, and he's gonna have bigger problems ride? in your car, buddy. Oh, <laughs> awesome. So awesome. Nice. And that's it. There are other ways to kill the King of Chinatown, but I'm not gonna show them off because I don't care. So uh, here's the, the birdie bio right over here. Birdie, once the agency's top intelligence man. In order to protect the girl, I need him as my eyes and ears. But his services won't come cheap. This man is a merchant. Quid pro quo. Everything comes with a price. To recruit him, I must first take out his business rival. Official contract or not, this king of Chinatown has to die. 